In this video, we're going to be looking at Power BI Embedded. So Power BI Embedded allows ISVs and application developers to embed Power BI content, such as reports, dashboards, and tiles within custom applications. Now it's important to note at this stage that if, particularly if you've also heard of Power BI Premium, which is a separate offering to Power BI Embedded, that Power BI Premium also can facilitate embed scenarios in addition to a couple other advantages. So the guidance from Microsoft here is that if you're looking at embed scenarios in the enterprise, that might be embedding Power BI content in SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, maybe in an internal portal, then you should be opting for Power BI Premium. On the other hand, if you've got an uh, independent application developer or an ISV uh, and you're simply just looking to supercharge your application with some analytics, um, Power BI Embedded is, is more suitable. Of course, check with your account rep to get kind of specific advice for you. Now in terms of pricing and the way um, the product is built, each individual user that is consuming analytics from your embedded content does not require a Power BI Pro account. So we're talking about this license here. You do however need a, at least one. So your master, your master account will require a Power BI Pro account. So you'll need at least a single user license with Power BI Pro. Uh, but other than that, the billing for Power BI Embedded is done through um, an Azure resource um, where we've got these different nodes where we, and there are different tiers in order to meet certain different types of peak demand. So there's some guidance here in terms of how many renders um, per hour can be met by each different node type. But, the, and, but that's essentially how Power BI Embedded is priced. Um, the, the cool thing with Power BI Embedded um, being controlled in Azure is that the billing does happen hourly. So if you pause your resource, you don't get billed. Now, the best way to check out Power BI Embedded is to see it in action. Um, Microsoft has a playpen hosted up on GitHub, uh, which I'll include the link in the description. If you click on the report example, you can see we have some Hikoda here at the top I can ignore that all for now. I'll get into the technical details on how to get started in the following videos. But if we scroll down, notice, you know, we're not on PowerBI.com, yet we've got a full report, the full Power BI experience um, embedded. Everything's still interactive. When I click, I have other charts filtering through. And it really is up to the ISV and the application developer in terms of leveraging the Power BI JavaScript SDK in terms of how much functionality they want to bring to the surface. Maybe you just want to embed a tile and surround that with your app. And that's pretty much it in terms of what Power BI Embedded is at a high level. Uh, we'll go through these next couple of steps in terms of registering an application, um, provisioning that Power BI Embedded resource within the Azure Marketplace, as well as eventually writing some code. Um, so I'll cover that in the next videos. But other than that, that's it for now.